everyone, it's Miss Frodo. Um, today I'm talking Beanie Babies again. These are Beanie Babies that I collected um, from my childhood in the 90s. And I can't really talk about Beanie Babies without talking about teeny Beanie Babies. These came out at McDonald's um, the very first time that they came out. They were such a hit. I ate so many Happy Meals. I didn't even really like McDonald's food, but I had to get myself some teeny Beanie Babies. Um, <laughs> There's a couple here in front of me. This is Inch, um, the caterpillar, obviously. Um, their tags are very simple. They just say Teeny Beanie Babies Inch. And they're not quite as cool as a regular Beanie Baby. Their bodies are just basically this felt material. They're not that soft. Um, I do not have the regular sized Inch. And the they were hard to get sometimes. People were really into these. This was back when we thought that we were all going to be millionaires if we saved our Beanie Babies long enough. This is Flitter the Butterfly. And I used to have the larger version of Flitter. She's got um, these shiny wings, which is kind of neat to do in a Happy Meal toy. And... Next up, I can do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is Stretchy the Ostrich. Stretchy the Ostrich, it's a hard one to make her look cute, to be honest. She's just a little awkward, but ostriches are a little awkward, and I guess that's what makes them cute. So she's got a little ring of feathers here. Her legs... <laughs> <laughs> really hard to get it to do anything. She's really good at doing a split. So there's baby and this is adult size stretch. Hello, yes you can fit on the camera. Look at that. She's a lot fuzzier, but pretty much not that different. Let's see what Stretch has to say. Stretch's poem is she thinks when her head is underground, the rest of her body can't be found. The Beanie Babies think it's absurd to play hide-and-seek with this bird. Because ostriches hide their heads in the sand. So there's Big Stretch and Little Stretch. Next up we have Claude the Crab. And this is sort of like a, a tie-dyed um, pattern. And we do have Big Claude. Big Claude looks just about exactly the same. And he says, Claude the Crab paints by the sea, a famous artist he hopes to be. But the tide came in and his paints fell. Now his art is on his shell. Oh, that's why he's tie-dyed, because he got his paint all over himself. <laughs> Next up, we have a rooster. This is Strut the Rooster. So teeny beanie version. The biggest difference I think is in the eyes because they just have um, little stitched on eyes and the regular beanie babies have the, the plastic eyes that look a lot more real. But he didn't turn out bad as a teeny beanie. He looks pretty good. And to compare that to Big Strut. I feel like yeah, the eyes seem to really add something to them. Strut says, Listen closely to Cockadoodle-Doo. What's the rooster saying to you? Hurry, wake up, sleepyhead. We have lots to do. Get out of bed. All right, I'm going to throw these guys on my ever-growing pile of beanie babies. I've got some more teeny beanies that I will show you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching Miss Frodo's Toy Horde. Bye!